We're going to take notes in our math notebook today. So turn to the table of contents and you're going to write dividing decibels by whole numbers. Numbers dot 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 page 17. Dividing decimals by whole numbers. Then you're going to turn to page 17 and you want to glue down this page here on page 17. Make sure you either glue it all the way at the top or all the way at the bottom, all the way to one side so that you have room because we are going to do two examples and we have an another note to add. Um, make sure you also put page 17 on it wherever you're keeping up with your page numbers. So the steps for dividing decimals, a decimal dividend by a whole number divisor. So that's when your decimal comes first. So it says write the problem using the division box. That's what we've been doing. Write the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So Miss Bridges sings a little song here and we say, move it on up to the top. Move it on up to the top. And yes, I want you to add that on um, step two right there. You move the decimal up to the top. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. All right, step three says divide the same way you would divide whole numbers. So once you, divide, once you move that decimal up to the top, you ignore it. Pretend like it's not even there. Number three, divide the same... Oh, I already read number three. <laughs> divide the same way you would divide whole numbers. Number four, use multiplication to check. I don't always make you use multiplication to check, but you definitely can to make sure you got your answer correct. Now, you have to add a super duper important note. So I want you to put a bunch of stars. We're going to highlight it, write it nice and big and neat. All right, here's the super duper important note. There are no remainders with decimal division. If you get a remainder, add a zero to your dividend bring it down and keep going all right so i'm going to show you what all of this means if you need to pause the video to get that note written down then pause it Put some more stars around it. It's super important. My stars aren't very good, but it's super important. Highlight it. Make it stand out. Super important note. You are not allowed to have remainders when you have decimal division. All right, we're going to do two example problems. The first example problem is 432 and 88 hundredths divided by 8. So the first step says to write the problem using the division box. So we're going to write 432 and 88 hundredths divided by 8. The second step says write the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. And Ms. Bridges sings, move it on up to the top. Moved it straight up. Now we're going to divide like normal. Pretend they're whole numbers. 8 goes into 4, can't happen. 0 times, that's 0. We subtract, we get 4. That is less. We bring down our next digit of 3. 8 goes into 43 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40. We subtract, we get 3. That is less. We bring down our 2. 
8 goes into 32 4 times. 4 times 8 is 32. We subtract, we get 0. That is less. We bring down our 8. 8 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. We subtract and get 0. 0 is less. We bring down our next 8. 8 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. We subtract and get 0. 0 is less, and I don't have a remainder, so I did it correctly. 54 and 11 hundredths. It is super important where you put your digits that you line everything up. My 0 is above my 4, my 5 is above my 3, my 4 is above my 2, my decimal is above my decimal, and my 1s are above my 8s. Because if you don't line everything up, then that decimal is going to be in a different spot, and it's going to give you a wrong answer. All right, so that one we didn't have a remainder for. We didn't have to add a zero and keep going. We didn't have a remainder. Let's look at the next one. Our next example is going to be 406 and 2 tenths divided by... 30. So first it says to write the problem using the division box. 406 and 2 tenths divided by 30. That's really close to my other problem. So I'm going to write my 30 times tables since I don't know them, but I do know my 3 times tables. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, uh, 240, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 would be 270. All right, 30 will not go into 4, so we put a 0. 0 times 30 is 0. We subtract and get 4. It is less. Oh! I forgot step number two. I wrote it using the division box, but step number two is move it on up to the top. Okay, now I can ignore it. So, four is less than 30, so I bring down my zero. 30 goes into 40 one time. One times 30 is 30. We subtract and get 10. 10 is less than 30. We bring down the 6. 30 goes into 106. That's too much. It's got to go in here three times. So we put a 3 on the top and a 90 down low. That is 16, which is less than 30. We bring down the 2. So we want to get as close to 162 without going over, so that would be right here. The 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth multiple. Fifth multiple. 5 times 30 is 150. We subtract and get 12. <gasps> I'm not allowed to have a remainder. Ah! Here is where you cannot just put remainder 12. No. You put a zero in your dividend. Boom and then you bring it down. 120. 30 goes into 120, one, two, three, four times. Four times 30 is 120. I subtract and I get zero. Sometimes you might have to add more than one zero. Sometimes you don't have to add any zeros like we did here. But you are not allowed to have a remainder when there is a decimal in your dividend. You now need to watch the decimal practice video. We're going to complete some problems on scratch paper, and then you're going to complete some on your own.